and welcome back to another video! Hello and welcome back to another video! Now, I have stated many times that Minimize is not OP. So, this video is here to prove it and to help me prove it. I have Max. Say hello, Max. Um, so, um, what, so I have uh, uh, several, di uh, uh, I think it's like four different ways you can counter, minimize Drift Blim, and what's going to happen is, Max is always going to send out minimize Drift Blim, and he's not going to switch out until he has three stockpiles and uh, the Max Evasion, and uh, then he's going to use Baton Pass to switch out, but if I can beat the Drift Blim before then, then he's just going to give up, and then we have the battle. So this first one is a Smeargle set with Lock On, Shake Hold. Wait for it, and dead. You also have a minimized chandelier. I have six minimized Pokemon. You have six minimized Pokemon. Yep. Uh, yeah, all of them are minimized. Because the Drifter was the only one that really mattered. Yeah. Also, focus, Sash. Well, yeah. And Destiny Bond. Yep. Now for strategy two. Anything goes. Number two. Whirlwind! This is particularly... I the move I was going to put on Drifloom, and I didn't. This is particularly effective with Stealth Rocks and Spikes. You, know, you just let your opponent set up, set up this stuff as oh it's not going to matter. I'm just going to switch in my Pokemon with Max Evasion and Max D and the uh, three stockpiles, and just sweep him. And then you go for Whirlwind. Yeah, and then his plan is completely ruined. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Shadow Law with Flamethrower is going to kill. A scammery, no doubt, but um, it, a uh, stealth, stealth war, you know, you you get free set up with spikes and stealth fox, and you get to disrupt their uh, um, setup. So, whirlwind is definitely one of the best, um, you know, ways you can uh, ways you can counter minimize. Heck, that's not even a custom set I've made. That was it. That's a natural set I've ran in other teams before. Okay, anything goes. How to counter evasion number three. This time we get to see a not um, too often seen Pokemon, Drapion, and it, uh, this one is Keen Eye, which um, Skyway also has. So Keen Eye, Keen Eye basically means you're not affected by. Evasion. Your attacks aren't affected by evasion, so um, yeah, you can just yeah, you're dead. I mean, I've only got pursuit on here, so you're switching like a lowland mark, and you're probably just gonna beat me or um, Clefable. I should have put some other moves on here, but yeah, Keen Eye works with every move. Um, I don't know why I only put Pursuit on here, I should have put like other moves. But 
yeah, Pursuit is always a nice choice. It's like, uh, I, I, does Pursuit work with uh, with Baton Pass? Not sure. Might work with Baton Pass. Don't quote us on that. I would assume so. And I think this is the last one. Yeah, number four. Yeah. Human. Technician. So, if you don't know what Technician does, it boosts um, moves that have a base power of 60 all the way up to 70, and it, uh, moves like Night Slash, Aerial Ace, uh, Night Slash and Aerial Ace, ha never miss. I think, oh no, that, yeah, no, sorry, Night, Night Slash has a higher chance to crit, and yeah, it boosts them up to 90, sorry, um, and the Aerial Ace cannot miss. So, you go like, for like Drift Blim here, you would go for like a Night Slash and hope you don't miss on the first one. Get it down to 23 health. Go for an Aerial Ace. It's dead. Then you bring in a candle the yeah! <laughs> dead. <laughs> but again, this is, uh, this is how to demonstrate how to counter evasion. And I've given you four methods of which you can use to counter evasion. That's not to mention the nerfs evasion have has gotten. Like, if I literally just like go to Bulbapedia here, evasion, evasion. Uh. Hit points, attack, defense, special, special attack, speed, and battle, evasion. Uh, let's just zoom in here so I can actually read this. Evasion. Add uh, determinants for what they avoid in attacks. It's 100%. It's a Pokemon's evasion reduced below 100%. Note that with a move such as Sweet Sand, note that the Pokemon will have a better chance of their moves hitting. If evasion is increased above 100 uh, with a move such as Double Team, all the Pokemon will have a harder time connecting their hits. It doesn't tell you. Oh, it doesn't tell you, like, the nurse. Well, I do know, like, it got nerfed in Sun and Moon, and I don't think it got nerfed in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, but I think it's. It also got nerfed in Generation 6, I think. But I think the Gen 6 nerf was relatively, you know, un in unimpactful. And then, um, but I think in Aeration, um, I think in Gen, in like Sun and Moon, it got a pretty big nerf. I can't remember where it was. It's been a while since Sun and Moon came out. I think I heard that it's going to get another nerf in Sword and Shield. So yeah, it's not minimize is not broken at all. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you to Max for joining me. And I'll, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Bye. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Comment down below what you thought of this video. And uh, if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that to subscribe and the uh, uh, ring a ding uh, that. Uh, notification bell otherwise YouTube won't uh, notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason and I'll see you guys in the next video